Solutioneering World Change. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 212. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 212, April 16th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us through social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, working with Sungum Stanzak, Ph.D. and P.E., continued with our sixth week of collaborative calls developing the evaluation and evolution component of the highest good education program. What you see here is the second behind the scenes draft of our proposed evaluation process. The core team also continued creation of the renders for the ultimate classroom, adding costumes and other aesthetic elements to the purple room. And we completed an additional 35% of the mind map for the form lesson plan, bringing it to 60% complete as you can see here. We also continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Nature lesson plan and the Opposites lesson plan. This brings us to 9 of 52 finished, which is 14% completion. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, completed these new image sets for the Learning Tools and Toys page. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team updated seven images for the food bars and food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished updating the AutoCAD files to standardized formats for the Earth Bay Village Pod 1 three dome clusters, and the complete Cobb Village Pod 3, and also the shipping container village Pod 5, as seen here. And we continued working on the detailed Earth Bay Village furniture construction instructions for the Murphy beds. Here are some of the different concept layouts we created and explored this week. Also related to the Earth Bag Village, we created this cutaway view of the Murphy bed inside one of the domes. To create this, we added lights, items for the closet, side tables, and stools inside the dome. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 10th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was adding in all the piping specifics for connecting and servicing or replacing the rainwater storage barrels, as shown here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 10th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was researching our water needs and creating the first version of our water reservoir under the tropical atrium. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality, Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. 
Here is update 64 of Dean's work. This week's focus was continued work on the cutaway views of the southeast wing looking north, as you can see here. Last but not least, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, began helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders and layout with some initial color changes, a new AutoCAD export, and background testing, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 34th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was second generation lighting analysis and placement for the two public bathrooms in the social dome. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was exploring a new do-it-yourself design for the center point of all the dome geometry. You can see the first iteration here. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. What you see here are a couple photos from the weekly collaborative calls with Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and this week's focus of researching and choosing the inverter, one of the key wire run options, and details for grid connection. Hennen Dantes, Mechanical Engineer, continued with his 14th week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was adding furniture details to the Sunrise patio and more cleanup and double checking of all the equipment details for the kitchen. Lucas Tasui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, also finished his work helping with the control systems layout. Here you can see the finished spreadsheet organized by zone to account for all the sensors, locks, cameras, and other details. Fonzi Pulagurtha, mechanical engineer, also joined the city center team and began working on the finite element analysis for the root center. What you see here are his initial calculations. And Adrian gould Choquet, mechanical engineer, finished her 15th week with the team. This week's focus was more load calculations and projections for the city center heating and air conditioning infrastructure. We'd say we're about 80% complete with these calculations now. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Tom Manohar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, completed her second week of work on the highest good network. Her focus this week was beginning development of the tasks page and structure for everything linked to from the dashboard. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also continued with his 24th week developing the new search engines for our site. This week's work was adding all the alternative education icons to the highest good education search engine and another round of revisions to the Strawbell Village search engine. You can see some of this work in progress here. One community is solutioneering world change. And our foundation for doing that is open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. Our goal is to create an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical foundations of sustainability with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create a way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And our idea is that if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And thus, we'll be solutionaring world change by enrolling more and more people in the world change process because we've created a way for them to live better than they're living right now and built such that just participating is creating a better world for everybody. Now, how do we accomplish that? Well, open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions for sustainability is our primary path. And covering all the foundations, which are food, energy, housing, as well as open source and free shared education models, economic models, fulfilled living models, as well as true earth stewardship, putting all that together and that evolution of sustainability, but then building a specific prototype so that people have a place that they can come and visit, experience everything that it is that one community is doing and creating, and take any aspect of it that they like and reproduce it in their own life. 
from the individual components like the education program or the food aspects or in small components of the infrastructure to the complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed specifically to be built and replicated all around the world, to be adapted and innovated and changed and improved upon, but ultimately constructed around the world, sharing their information with one community and with the world, creating additional open source tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions so that they're a part of solutionary world change too. This is the foundation that one community is focused on. And to achieve this, we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, who believe that it's possible, that believe that a world that truly works for everybody can be created if enough of us participate. And if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate attractive enough, and wanna help us create these solutionary models these teacher demonstration hubs designed specifically to help others build additional teacher demonstration hubs. We call these solution models purpose to create additional solution creating models. This is how one community is creating world change. There's lots of different ways to participate. So if this sounds interesting to you, if it sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if you'd like to get involved, join us, join our team. We are 100% volunteer organization. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing and you can join us as either a pioneer member who are the people that will move to one community and build everything that it is that we're designing or just as a consultant working behind the scenes helping volunteer your time and your knowledge or you can also join the team unofficially just by helping us share our information through social media. It's the easiest way to help one community and it is available to everybody. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Facebook, we are on Tumblr, Tumblr, we are on Reddit, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share the information that we have and get the information out there in the hands of the people that want it and are most interested in it and can use it the most, or just to be people that are curious so we can spread the word and involve as many people in the solutionary process as possible. Once again, our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And this is how we're solutionary world change by ultimately engaging the public, the general masses, and showing them that they can participate in whatever way works best for them and that there's a better way to live than the way they're living right now. This is what one community do, is doing. This is how we're creating world change. So people ask us, well, what is the greatest thing that one community needs right now? Well, really, we're still seeking large scale funding. We have a property that we've identified, but we can't share a location until we get the property off the market. And we can't get the property off the market until somebody uh, contacts us that's interested in either investing in one community uh, or donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization and helping us to make this a reality. That's the next big step. Meantime, our primary focus isn't actually seeking those funds. Our primary focus is open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing and preparing ourselves so that we're ready to start building. That said, if we had funding today and we could get the property off the market, that would make a huge difference to our organization because it would allow us to disclose the location. It would legitimize our project to a whole new level. It would allow us to put people on the ground, start doing site surveys and open sourcing and free sharing all those specifics and details that we can't actually open source and free share until we have those details, until we own the property. And that would take our whole project and our whole open source process to the next level. In the meantime, man, we have our hands full. Everybody's ever invited to participate that has something to offer to the project or in all the different ways that I've already mentioned. And we will continue to move forward and create what needs to be created because solutionary world change is a lot bigger process than most people realize. It'd be a lot easier if we weren't open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing. It'd be a heck of a lot easier if we weren't putting, you know, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of hours into website infrastructure and teaching people how to replicate everything that is that we're creating. But if we didn't do what we're doing, how would other people be able to take what we're doing and replicate it? There's lots of amazing things that are happening right now in the world, but they're not open source or they're not free shared. And so they're not replicable. And so that is a step in the right direction, but a bigger step would be open source and free shared foundations that are designed for average people with average means to be able to replicate them. And this is what we're doing. We're creating user friendly versions of all that. So, Get involved in whatever way works for you. We appreciate it. If, if whatever way works for you is just watching these videos, that actually helps. You know, Adding views to our videos is a big deal. Liking our videos is a big deal. Sharing our information on social media is a big deal. For those that donate to our project, as I already said, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. So 100% of donations go to our foundational operational expenses, and none of that includes paying anybody. 
it's all about maintaining our website and, and continuing to get the message out and developing all the things that we're developing. But we're a 100% volunteer organization. So for the donations that we get, the $5 donations, $10 donations, you know, occasional $50, $50 $100 or larger donations, they really make a big deal, make a big difference because they help us to cover operating expenses. Aside from that, the likes, the emails, you know, the watches, just the views that we get on, on the content that we're putting out is also very encouraging and very helpful too. So thank you for that. And thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything it is that we are creating, and we talk about each week in these updates, visit our written blog, visit our website. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can subscribe to one of our social media outlets and, and manage your uh, updates that way and follow our progress that way. Whatever way works best for you. We're here to help. So thanks again. And until next week, of course, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.